Well, let's just start the video with cutting instead of boring stuff, and then I'll explain to you what's going on. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill. This is Pirate Solutions Forestry. And we are about to mill out some slabs on a pine log. Let me get my stuff off here. Uh, I am going to throw the Doyle scale on it. We'll see what the Doyle scale says it uh, is going to yield. We're going to add that to our continuing effort to test out the Stellite bands. That band's got 500 board feet on it right now. It's been sitting on the mill. I've been up in Canada, so it's been on the mill since before I left. The mill hasn't started in a couple weeks. A couple weeks as of, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, a week as of yesterday, the day before, or are we in a new week? No, I think we're in a new week. We're, um, we're almost two weeks since I left. Um. So let's take a look at what we're going to get for board feed out of this. Uh, it needs to be slabbed. I have a very specific slab that I want. Oh, there's Danny laying in the sawdust. I have a very specific slab that I want out of this log. We're going to throw the scale on it. Right now it's cut at nine feet long, so we're going to have to guess in between the numbers here. Oh, the other side. So... Between 162 and 202, that way. Between 220 and 276, that way. So, uh, 202, 220. So, it's going to be somewhere around... When it's all slabbed out, we're going to lose the minimum amount that we have to lose here. So when it's all slabbed out, because we're going to get this whole log, it's actually probably going to be more than what this scale says. We're going to get <laughs> about 250 board feet out of this. So we're going to be up to about 750 after we mill this log. And that is taking it in between the 8 and 10 foot uh, thing on the scale here. So I'm going to back you guys up. Uh, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to get this log up on the mill, and um, we will go at it. So this thing is um, its 23 wide this way. It's 25 wide this way. This looks like the big end. Uh, so it's, we shouldn't have any trouble fitting through it. We should be able to mill the whole thing. It shouldn't be a big deal. But what I need out of the middle of this is somewhere is I need a four inch thick slab. 
my slab guy needs a four inch thick slab because he promised one to a customer and then he sold the one that he promised to a customer. So I'm going to slab the whole thing, but I need to take a four inch out of it. We'll go over that in a minute. Um, I'm going to get you back over there, pause you guys and uh, get this thing set up on the mill. And when you come back, we're going to go to milling. So always thank you for the watch. Hopefully starting out with some cutting, like spurred some interest. Uh, if you want to know anything about that saw, it's nasty. Um, hit me up in the comments. You know, I'm kind of feathering it so I don't put it in the dirt. But anyway, I'm going to pause you guys. And when I come back, we'll go on to milling. All right, so we get it up on the mill. Let's take a look at it. So it is nine feet long. It's a little bit tapered. It's got a... Some sort of funky spot in the top. I want to take that off. That's I rolled it up so I could take that off first. And then I'm hoping, as you guys have viewed from here, that my four inch slab is either going to come from like right here or right here. I just want it at the widest point possible and somewhere under this rot spot. I might even take two. He'd take two from me if I did cut two. So I might even take two just to make sure. So maybe a four inch one here and a four inch one here. What I'm going to do um, is I'm going to come down to this pith line here is up. It's like 11 inches. So um, I don't know how deep I can go on the first round here. I want to get this rot out of it and then maybe flip it over. I don't know how stable this will be like this. So. My goal is to get a flat spot, flip it over, and then uh, mill maybe a two-inch slab, a four-inch slab, a four-inch slab, something like that. That's kind of how it's going to work out, I think. Um, but let me fire up the mill. Let me fire up the mill, um, get it unclamped, get you guys in a good spot, and we'll go to working on it. And you can see what we end up with, and let's see how this Stellite band cuts after... 500 board feet and I've left it on you can see the rust on it I normally don't leave my bands on I take them off when I get done every day so the band is still on um, I'm trying not to treat this band special I'm not going to clean this log I'm just going to keep cutting and we're going to see how far it goes and this is going to get us out like I said to somewhere around 750 board feet when it's all said and done um, but let's get you guys over here all and I'm going to go over, we'll fire up the mill, and we'll commence to cut. And hopefully it doesn't move around at all. So I think my top cut is going to be somewhere around. It might take me a couple of cuts here to get it shaved off. But let's just say somewhere around 19. And that's going to get most of it cleaned off. I don't think it will clean the whole thing off, but... Um, then once we get a good flat spot, we'll flip it over and we'll mill the rest of it out. Get my four inch slabs. So get that out of the way. Uh, and let's get to doing it. Turn my water on, turn my mill on, get my mill warming up. Turn my water on. Get the clamp off the mill. Hopefully we'll wear the rust right off the band. Hopefully I have no clearance issues too. Well, let's get ourselves up to 19. All right up in there. Ah, my adjustable guy's not going to clear there. Looks like it'll clear that. Let's get some water flowing there. All right, we got water flowing, so let's try to take the top off it.
knocking it for you there. I don't know if it just moved or what. But. Oh, well, one good thing is we're clear all the way down. Get this big old chunk off the top here. See how far I got to go to get my rot spot out of here. It's going to be a couple of slabs anyway. Looks like it was at one point in time a little ant den here. Um, it's a few waves in it. Let me get my scraper out. I'm not going to show you this slab yet. I just want to have my scraper out. It's pretty slab. I mean, pretty log. Um, so let's take... I almost don't need to take anything out of it right now. I almost can just flip it straight over. You know, I just, I think that might make sense. So let's kill it. I don't see any reason to take anything out of that right now. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Uh, I would say that that Stella Cup band cut good. Uh, I think. Well, let's try it by hand. It's going to be a heavy log. If I can do it by hand, then it will save you guys from having to <coughs> go to go to pause for a second. It's a pretty big log. It's going to be hard to get on it and get up high enough. Um, get my, let me get my uh, log dog assist ready to go here. Cause, Jesus, this thing is, I don't know about this thing. I really don't, guys. All right, so let's see if we can roll it. It's going to be heavy. Pretty good size log. And there's no way I can't get low enough on it to do it. Now let's try it from here. No. Well, maybe. Okay, maybe. Maybe I can. Let's get it over here. I can just take it right here. There we go. I think I can get some ass on it now. All right. My log dog assist, of course, fell off. Stay there, baby. Get one more bite on it. I think I can flip it over. Oh. Okay. Of course, the log dog assist just fell off again because it's useless. All right, let's get it up. <sighs> Getting close. Come on, thing. <coughs> if I can shove it over, I think we're good. Come on. All right. Get our stops down a little bit. Just up just a hair. Gotta figure out where this is gonna be the best. 
we're in the middle here. So it's hanging over this side a little bit too much. We get the, this side over. This is working by yourself right here, boys and girls. Right, that actually looks really good there. And uh, looking down from the end here, it's really not that bad. It's kind of in a good spot. I don't think it's that bad. I think we leave it right there. Hopefully we clear on this side. So we get to do our no wood trick here that no other sawmill can do. And that is to raise this up and then move it over to the log. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. How convenient is that? That is exclusive to no wood that I know of. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top off this thing at somewhere around 17-ish. I'll measure from the other side when I get a bit of view. Uh, and then mill it down, take a couple of four-inch slabs out of it, a couple two-inch slabs, and Bob's your uncle will call it a day. And then these can get delivered tomorrow. So let's see. Let's dog it off here if I can. I don't think I can get a dog on it down there. Maybe here. I don't really need one. Eh, that's going to be in the way. It does not look like I can dog it. So we're just going to mill it without dogs. Great. This one is stuck. Shit. Uh, i got to take this one out. This is kind of it. I don't know if it's exclusive or not to know it, but we got to take this dog out because it's stuck. So we'll take that one out. This log's so heavy, it does not need to be dogged. Um, let's take a look at where we need to get to. So 17 is going to be kind of scraping it. 16 would be better. I'm probably going to take it. I don't know. Um, probably going to take it at 17 first. I think that's not going to be a good cut. I think it's going to have to go to 16. It's down here. Uh, I'm going to take it at 17 first, and then we'll go to 16. I am going to just try to take some of the dirt off this log right here. pretty good dirt right here so we'll take it at 17 we'll see what that gives us and uh then we'll take it from there and we'll get this thing slabbed out and then we'll take a look at it see what we got I don't like the thought that was pretty much a waste, Scott. We'll take it down to 16.
So the band still feels like it's cutting pretty good, but the proof is going to be in the pudding. So I'm at 16. I think I'll take a 2-inch out right now. Now let's take a 2-inch slab out. Go down a 13 and 7 eighths. We'll get this slab off because I want to be able to measure the, the width to see if it's worth it to take a four inch slab. Um, what do I want to do with these? All right, I'm not going to have to roll it again. I can put these right on the bobcat. Put these right on. Yeah, I should be able to get the four inch ones off too. So right now my width is... 18, 16, 20 and a half, 20. I think I'm going to take one more two inch off and then do a four inch and then probably two four inch back to back. So I'll drop, I was at 13 and seven eighths. How much do I have to the pith here? Uh, I've got four and a half there. That's going to include the pith and the four inch slab. Oh, well, we got hell. So the pit is perfectly centered right now. Um, you know what? I take it back. I think I'm just going to take a four. I take a four, a two, and a four, maybe. So I was at 13 and seven eighths. And we're going to drop down to 13 and seven eighths, right? Let's check that. We're going to drop down to nine and three quarters. And pull my just the plate guy out just a little bit here, almost all the way out. I'm going to make a line and measure it. I'm just going to measure that, make sure my mathematics is right. Yeah, it's like Four and an eight. We'll just come up with eight. All right, so let's go ahead and mill it right there. Take a four inch off here. Five planks. One, two, three, four, five. Come back. We'll get this slab off. I'll show you what it what the finish looks like. The one thing I did just see when I came out of the cut, I saw that drive side roller flex a little bit. Now you can tell it's sliding pretty easy, so I think it's a pretty pretty flat cut. It's going to hopefully just fall down. Nice. Put this right over on the wall. 
And uh, I'm going to scrape this off, let you look at it. It's pretty, kind of beautiful. Let's just shut this down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a four inch slab off again to make sure that I have him multiple options. It's pretty, it's got the, uh, it's got some of the red that you see sometimes in white pine. It's a pretty slab. It looks like it cut fairly, you know, mostly flat, mostly smooth, still chunking out. Now, obviously, guys, when you start taking them off like this, you're not really cutting the board feet because there's a lot of board feet in that one piece. So it's not like you're cutting one inch boards, but show, show you what slab looks like. You see that red over there, that red streak, you see that it almost gets fluorescent sometimes in white pine. Pretty slab. Uh, show you the finish. I can zoom in. Can't really see through my glasses really good, but this finish is really smooth. I do see a couple of saw lines here as it transitions into this where it's really smooth here. So if you look right here, it's really smooth. And then there are a couple saw lines here, but they're teeny, 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 teeny. You look at them compared to my fingers. Kind of cool figure, big ass four inch thick slab. We'll take a few measurements and um, we'll fire up. We'll take another four inch off it. And then the only thing I'm going to have to do when I get down to my bottom slab is make sure that I clear my stops here. So let's go ahead and measure it and we'll see what we got. So right now we're at 23, 22 and a half, 22 and a half. That's 20, 23, it's 24 here. So we're going to get a teeny little bit wider on this next one. Uh, but it's, uh, I, I think these will work out great for him. So get a whole chunk of board feet out in one fell swoop here. So let's drop it down four inches and make another cut. I think that was at nine and seven eighths. I'll double check it. So we'll come down to nine and seven eighths. Just make sure that's where that top of that slab was. Yeah, it looks pretty right, right there. So we're gonna come down one, two, three, four, and eight to five and three quarters. And take another one off here. Five turns up and back to shut it off and we'll figure it out. So, if I do this at, let's see, a four by four, four by four by 10 is 13 board feet. So, I think that's times five here minimum. So, that would be times five there. Times five, and it's only nine. So, I think if I times. 13 times 5 is 
50, 65 per ish board feet per slab, right around there. Right, 13 is 50, and 15 is 65 plus the points, and it's a little wider than 20, so uh, I'm throwing that in for the foot that I don't have at the end. So it's somewhere around 65 board feet of slab. So these two slabs, somewhere around 130 board feet. Um, so literally $130. And we're going to see what we got left over here. We're milling a two inch slabs. I just don't want to hit my stops. So let's see how high up my stops are. So this one's up too. I would hit it if I milled the two inch down to two. How much do I have here? So I have three here. I could take a two inch off right now. Let's just do that. Let's take a two inch slab off it right now. Get that one out of the way. Solve us some figuring. Still, it's beautiful. The red's on this side now. It's go These are gorgeous. I got red on both sides. Uh, this is a really... Uh, actually, let me show you this one. It's got a lot of different colors in it. Before I take the two-inch slab off. Still milling nice and flat. Uh, it's feeding beautifully. This band is still cutting fine. Obviously, this is a good example of why... Board feet's a bad example of how much a how much a band can cut because you know you'd have two more cuts in those to mill them at two. But uh, check this out, it's gorgeous. So it's got beautiful grain down here, and obviously that's going to be on the bottom of that one. Uh, it's got the red on both sides, some pretty grain. Pretty limbs coming in from the side. These are these are beautiful pine slabs here. Got a little bit of blue staining down here. You can see a little bit of blue stain on the outside. Yeah, these are really pretty. Look at that. It's pretty neat. See how smooth it's cutting. You know, we're still we're still going at it with this band. So let's take a two-inch slab off it and get that one out of the way. And then we will figure out where that rot spot is and what we got to do going forward here. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have put that one on there yet. Uh, well, it's all right. I'll move them all over when you guys aren't on. So that one was at, I think, five and three quarters. Let's just double check that. Yep, that's right where it was, five and three quarters. So let's just drop it down to three and five eighths. And make a cut right there. And that's going to get us kind of the top of that rock spot. One, two, three. This thing's still cutting beautifully. But, you know, a lot of this cuts down that down the N4 juice like full width. It's cutting beautifully for 
this wide. Let's get this over here, get this slab off. Oh my god, it's wicked light. The two inch slab is like a piece of paper. So we got to definitely gonna drop our stop here. How thick are we with three and three and five eighths? So to take a two, I'd have to drop the one and five eighths. We're right dead in the middle right now. I have to drop the one and a half. So I need to get this thing dogged low. So actually, since it's not. Let's go ahead and dog it low. That should be good there. That should be good there. I'm sure we got two inches here. Yep, plenty. Take one more two inch slab off it, and that'll be yep, plenty. Take one more two inch slab off it and call it a day here. I'll go get these stacked and they can get delivered tomorrow. And I'll see if I can get a see if I can get a dog on this thing down nice and low. I kind of got it. So we were at three and five eighths, we're gonna come to one and a half. That should be good. Yep. All right, let's cut it right there and be done. Turn, shut it off, fill the water. Everybody head to the exits. So I gotta go in and install our TV shit to bed, so I gotta go install a new TV in the house. So this is kind of my payday. Um, this is around, like we were saying, around 250 board feet. Um, I'll have to calculate them all out. So it's like a two hundred fifty dollar, a dollar board foot order here, that I will go deliver two hundred fifty to three hundred. Um, I'll add I add fifty dollars for delivery. There's a big old speedle, um, and I have some other slabs here that he wants too. So I will bring those to him as well, and try to get my uh, my delivery up to like. I don't know, four or five hundred bucks, something like that. A little over four hundred, as much as the truck can carry. I've got some uh, some pine slabs over there in the stack that can go to him. I do have one cool one over here too. It's a kind of a smaller one, but it's kind of neat. It's two inches thick. It's got some pretty cool figure in it here. I'll take that one to him too. And then I have a three-inch thick old, old, old one that's way over by the shed over there stacked on my our old deck i'm going to take that to him too so we'll get the order up um, as much as we can to make it worth the while and this is kind of like my little uh guaranteed money for the week so yesterday i fixed uh a concrete saw and a blower for one of my customers 
Uh, both of them had multiple issues. It was a couple hours. That paid for the TV. And this kind of gives me my guaranteed money for the week. And then I can go on to either working on sheds and stuff like that or um, selling to customers. I have a customer supposed to be coming out tomorrow and uh, I can always cut stock. So that's kind of how this works. I mean, if I could make somewhere around a thousand bucks a week, would I'd be very happy, but I do have sheds and some outbuildings to build that I need to work on that are kind of take me away from that. So if I can bring in seven, 800 a week um, cash with no problem, then that keeps me happy until the outbuildings are done and I can move some things around and start cutting some stock and selling the stock. So for now, uh, I got Danny. Hey, Danny. Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hi, buddy. And myself, uh, appreciate the watch. That band is still humming. Um, we, we're going to start to get into semantics over the board feet, guys. No doubt about it. So we're up around 750 board feet right now. Um, it's still cutting laser flat. It's, I mean, I'm milling basically full width milling passes here in pine with a 10 degree band. Yeah, it's milling perfect. The roller guides just, I don't know what to say, man. They're operating terrific. They're great for slabbing versus the ceramic guides suck for slabbing, my honest opinion. Um, and, uh, for now, it's part of solutions out.